What is going on, everyone? A quick public service announcement, part two. You guys loved part one and there's a ton of stuff. So make sure you are doing these for tier four. And by the way, I am trying to start streaming on Twitch. You all voted and I decided to give it a try. Make sure to go and follow me. I will be streaming during the weekends and sprinkling in some hours during the weekday. Also, I have a discord now. It's super scuffed at the moment but I plan to use that to answer any questions and also let you know when I'm live. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ping. We all hate those people, am I right? All the links will be in the description. Now on to the video. First things first, did you or did you not complete the yellow quest that starts from El Need yet? I think it was like around here somewhere. And I think it's called something like Melancholy Holiday. This is a quest line that you should do as soon as possible since you can actually complete it all in one day. It takes two separate days. So make sure you do this whenever you can. This will help you to fill up that North Curzon Adventure Tome. And speaking of which, number two, you should start focusing on North Curzon Adventure Tome. Yeah, 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 I know. Horizontal, ew. I get it. I'm the same way, but it's actually to get this beautiful enlightenment potion at 70%. There's actually also this blood claws chart at 80%, but we'll talk about that later. I am super close actually to the 70% one, uh, but just because I didn't do any collectibles yet. Uh, and also, it's also because I'm, it's not really mandatory at the moment. But again, these eventually will be. So it's better to start early. And there's a good reason for this. The collectibles that drop go for a lot of gold. Honestly, if you farm the mob in North Curzon, you can probably make more gold for your time than doing some raids. Like, I got this battleship Pluto model like four times while I was farming for North, North Curzon cooking stuff. It's 1570 gold for one. That's a lot of money. Now, if you want to use it, go ahead. But this is just an option for people starving for gold. People are starting to buy collectibles like crazy to get these early. I'm going to take it easy because I don't really need it at the moment. So I'm just selling all my collectibles. You do you. All right. But anyway. Let's talk a little bit more about this Enlightenment Point Potion. So there are other ways to get them. And I'm sure everybody knows that the field boss drops the big boy one. But there are other potions out there that you may or may not know. So let's go over it. First one is going to be in the Unas task. By filling up the reputation status for North Curzon Shard quest... So if, you, if you're already doing this, uh, Una, you're already filling it up. But as you can see, it takes 17 days to get this Enlightenment Point Potion. So all I want to say is, if you know about this, great. But if you didn't know about this and you were still doing it, still great. But make sure you are claiming it at the end to get the Enlightenment po Point Potion. Second one comes from what I mentioned already. The North Curzon Adventure Tome. And now finally, the third one. The absolute worst thing I've ever had to do in Lost Ark, honestly. Blood Claws Chart Collectible. Look at all of us bozos standing here AFK on our ships. This is because the Spearfish Hunting Guild Vessel, yes, specifically that vessel, spawns at the North Curzon Bay and it has a chance of giving you the fifth fragment. And let me show you in the collectibles this stupid blood claws chart. So if you ch check on collection status, you can see that you need five fragments in order to get the first blood claws chart. And uh, I guess you need two in order to get this enlightenment point potion. So that is what everybody is doing right now. So me. I finished the Atlas quest. Make sure you're doing this Atlas quest as well to get the first fragment. It's pretty easy. Make sure you're doing that. 
Second one comes from the Adventure Tome. We mentioned this. So fill out your Adventure Tome, get to 80% for this one. Field Boss also drops it. So make sure you're also doing your Field Bosses. The fourth one comes from an old empty bottle. So it just spawned on me right now. So let's check it out. So I did not get the, the fifth fragment, but you see here, old empty bottle. You are able weekly to get 10 and you want to just use them up and see if you have the chance of getting the fourth blood claw fragment. Are you sensing a pattern here? Yeah, everything is RNG based and smile gain. Oh my God. Who from your department thought this was a good idea? For us to AFK in ships. Like, this is gross. But it's necessary. So, you need those enlightenment potions. Get your blood claw fragments. Okay. The last two things I wanted to talk about come from the stronghold. So, number one is the research. So, I'm, I'm not going to bother going into my stronghold. But make sure that you are upgrading your farm research. So that you can start getting the next tier mats from the farm. If you don't do anything, you're just going to keep getting the tier 3 and you'll never be able to craft the, uh, what is it? The fusion materials that you have to use for tier 4. Okay, and number 2. I said this before, but don't forget. Do the stronghold training. This is why I put it in my 10 first things to do in tier 4 video, by the way. Is because I was afraid that people were not going to remember to do this. There are so many things that you have to do in Lost Ark. And this is one of them. Make sure you are upgrading your alts as you're doing it. Uh, also, something to note is that your main does need to be at a minimum two levels higher at all times compared to your alts. But anyways, that's all the PSA that I got for you all for now. Summary. Do the Yellow Quest. Do the Atlas Quest. Do North Curzon Adventure Tome, at least up to 80%. Do the Field Boss. Do North Curzon Shard Una Task. Do Blood Claw. And do Stronghold Stuff. I'm not sure if I missed anything. If I did, just replay this video 10 more times. Easy ad revenue, baby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, I hope this helps remind people to do this. If you are already doing this, good job. I'm proud of you. This video was a little bit worthless for you, but still, hey, I appreciate you all for being here. Okay, that's all for this video. Again, make sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash noeditandy, and also join the Discord. It is down in the description for that link. And Pineapple Gang, we have been slacking as of recently. I haven't been seeing a lot of Pineapple Gangs in my comment section. Let's get some more pineapples in the comments. All right, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.